Hello, my fellow fans of Dungeons and Dragons, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, The Shadows of Under Time. Alright, so last time we uh, left Timo Farrar's Mountains and headed back through uh, the basically the center area of this campaign. We stopped by Bloomberg and uh, beat up some gnolls, and then we made our way this way into these other separate mountains. Oh, there's no ogre down there. Um, and today we're going to be exploring some of the caves of the area. I wanted to do this one first. If I remember correctly, I think this is a dragon cave. And then we'll head into the gnoll caves and get as far as we can in that. But first things first, I see an ogre. He's menacing. I'm gonna punch him. Or I'm gonna get punched by him. Ah, there we go. First punch. Didn't do as much as the sneak attacking. And he's dead. Okay, and he had nothing of value. Because there are many others. Yep, okay, and so this is a little dragon cave. There are whirling white dragons here. There are also a number of whirling dragons. Okay. And as you notice, I'm not taking any damage from the rough weapons. Usually, uh, you would take half damage, but because I am a... Uh, Monk and Dorna is a rogue. If we make our saves, we have evasion. Dorna's off to fight another one. My steel will strike true. Okay. So then the problem becomes the white dragons are actually pretty easy. The problem is the one or two red dragons that are coming up. And I don't think I have any potions to really help me. I'm gonna go ahead and take a potion of Cat's Grace. And I'll increase my uh, saves. She can't use a potion like that, apparently, so... Go. I can't just give them potions. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's to protect us from the fire breath. Okay. And there's a warmling red dragon. Now, the really me, Dorna. Let's try and only have to fight Indeed. one of these at a time. Um, the really weird thing about this is Wormling Red Dragons are actually medium-sized, so they should be as big as person. But I guess that's just kind of hard to convey specifically in this type of game. Also, they obviously just recolored a uh, sprite for the little white dragons. Okay, so that takes care of one of them. And is nope, there's two more. So we're gonna start this off with this one. And that fire bombed me or something. That was weird. I'll take a potion of cure moderate. Okay. Ah. Oh, I need to be here. That's not good for me because I am not a fighter. And Dorna has teleported away. Hooray! And this is why I only wanted to fight one of them at a time. Because two of them is kind of obnoxious. 
Okay, go back in. And I'm dead. Of course I am. Okay, moving right along. I know there's a cave. There are three wormling red dragons in here. I want to attract the attention of one of them. Without getting all three of them on me. Okay, here it comes. And I'm just going to sit here and miss. Because apparently. Fucking, of course. Okay, so moving on, in this next little cave here are three little faster horn wings. They are red dragons, so they are obviously tougher than the other ones. We'll have Dorna stand her ground, and I'm going to try and attract the attention of one of them. I can take one of them at a time, but if two or more get involved, we then I'm having both problems. walk away from this. Really, I need Dorna to be on the side. I can flank it, but now it's attracting her, so she's not getting a sneak attack. But she's still doing pretty good. Okay. That's one now. I'm going to go ahead and heal the kit on myself. I guess the other thing I could do is take a potion of bark skin, full strength. Okay, so now I want to attract the attention of one of these guys without getting the other one involved. So let me try come this way. Nope, got them both. Oh, but only one's following me. Which is good. Because like I said, if we've got two of them like this, then they're just going to beat up on both of us simultaneously, and neither of us is going to win. We won't both walk away from. Okay, so she's getting sneak attack on, and now she's not. I need to be healed. And even with my armor class as high as I could possibly make it, they're beating up on me for real. Okay, that's one down. I'm not sure there's much I can do here to heal. Okay. I got a really good healing check, so that's good. It's really hard to do in the middle of combat, but here we are. Now I just need to hit this little jerk. There we go. It's a good hit. And one thing is, I think dragons are immune to stunning, so I've got nine hit points. I better try another healer's kit on myself. So I don't want to try my stunning fist. I think I'm floating. So, my attack's as high as it can be. There we go. Ah, finally. Okay. Stupid red dragons. Even their babies weren't armor things. Okay. So, let's see what they were guarding. Now, you might leave this cave. If you're playing this on your own, you might leave this cave for after you beat up the gnolls. Hey. Heal light potion. There's a dragon egg. That was fun. Okay, so they had a bit of treasure.
It's not anything fantastic. They search the corpse. I think I did. Yep. Okay. So head back out. You guys will not know how many times it took me to get that perfect scenario where I didn't lose to the red dragons. Stupid babies. That. Okay, so with that under our belt, we are going to head to the much, much easier gnolls and they're not babies. Just remember, people, dragon babies, still freaking dangerous. Okay, guys, so these are the Knoll Caves, and I've cleared these out three times now, except for the problem is, is every time the recording has died. So here we are again. We I'm gonna kill this walk away from this. freaking sleeping girl, because these gnolls are annoying the crap out of me. Okay, so... One of the interesting things about this dungeon are they have these gongs, and if one of the gnolls gets to the gongs, they can summon more gnolls to their position. This seems to be bugged in this playthrough, though, because it looks like that they have overcompensated the number of gnolls that are in the area. This area is not supposed to have nine gnolls in it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight gnolls. But whatever. There's supposed to be like a four to an area. Maybe. Usually it's three. But maybe I'm just too high level for that to be proper. Although, usually I come in here as a five. Maybe I come in here as a level four most of the time. I don't know anymore. But yeah, this is more of what the rooms are supposed to look like. They're supposed to be a lieutenant and then two gnolls. I guess three if I'm at the right level for it. But we're going to open up with a salvo of sleep. Hope to catch two or three of them. I caught the leader, so I'm taking him out immediately. Dorna can handle the other two for the moment. Okay. So that's the gnolls down. You have useless treasure because we can't sell that to anybody. We'll take all the things that I don't plan on using because they are worth two or three gold apiece. And I picked up 50 throwing axes, which are annoying and heavy. So. I'm going to use them as I can't use them. I don't know how to use a throwing axe. Okay, so it looks like we have another room of gnolls over here. So we're going to open up with sleep. There's the lieutenant. Starting him. Sleep. And amazingly, I'm not rolling twos and threes this time. So thankfully, you guys won't be hearing as much frustration as I've been going for, for the last, uh, like I said, I think it's two attempts now. Probably definitely going to have to go back to Hilltop here. Well, no, I don't have to go all the way to Hilltop. I could just, just go to the, uh, the Hermit and sell off all this junk. Okay. There is one Knoll Fighter there. That attracted a archer from this room. See, okay. This room was open. And 
usually there's two or three gnolls in here, or you know, three or four gnolls in here, but it looks like they all came out already. Okay, that got all three to sleep. Gonna take all of those out. Yay! That's actually a useless treasure too, because nobody wants it. Actually, I think I could sell it, but it's worth like one gold piece. Yeah, and there's nobody in here. So it looks like the gnolls that were in this room all got together and went over to over here. Now, there is a prisoner here, but first of all, I need to make sure the way is clear, because if I let him out and he follows me, and there's gnolls in the way, instead of being a good prisoner and hiding, he's going to try and punch the gnolls in the face. Okay. Area is as clear as it's going to be, I guess. hero thing first, and we loot all of the things. And a worthless bullets, grab the key, and talk to Glendeer. Ah, oh, you there. I don't know what you're doing here in these caves, or just thank my stars you're not a knoll. My name's Glendeer. Would you terribly mind letting me out of here? Yeah, hold on. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. You won't regret it, I assure you. Thank you for producing me. I thought I was never getting out of here now. Uh, can you show me where the exit is? Okay. So one of the more interesting things about this encounter specifically is if you watch my other playthrough of Neverwinter Nights, the original core campaign, Whenever you find a prisoner, you can usually just tell them, you know, the way behind me is clear, run for it, get out of here, right? Uh, this one is a little different. If you tell Glendeer that you're not going to escort him, he will end up dead at the entrance. So, we're going to say, of course, follow me. I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Okay, and then we're going to take him back to the entrance. There isn't a random old patrol coming through here like there was the first time I played through this. A Glendir got himself butchered. Okay, and then you just gotta bring him up to the entrance. Uh, that looks like the exit there. Thank you for saving me. I don't think I would have made it without you. No, no, you wouldn't have. Okay, so. I still don't want to deal with that whole big thing of gnomes. Actually, you know what? I want to test something. I want to see if I can attract some of the gnomes over here. It does not appear to draw out anybody. Try this guy. Maybe that one was too far away. I guess I can't see where the holes so. But no, that also does not appear to have attracted anybody. And that's why I was saying I think this playthrough is kind of glitched. Uh, just the random null placements seem to make it so that the gongs aren't as effective. Like, I know if you ring this gong, it'll pull the guys out of here. Uh, I assume... I need to be healed! There weren't guys there before, and now there are. We won't both walk away from this. I guess we're 
Ring of the Gong has increased the number of enemies. Hey, another fish that's pointless to have. Okay, Dorna is pretty good, so let's go ahead and heal her up. I don't see a sentry coming, so let us open this one. Okay, this is the Beastmaster, I believe. I'm going to close the door. Yep. There's the Null Beastmaster. Now he has an interesting item. One that we are going to use called the Beastmaster's Ring. What this does is these angry black bears are not going to be angry anymore. They're going to be on our team. And I am going to use them. So now that they're good, if you bring this again, they'll follow you. And then they'll get kind of bored. I thought I saw a third. There it is. Okay, so come on, bears. need you to help me fight these gnolls, because apparently I can't war roll worth the crap. And today has been a fun test of tedium. There's two, there's three, where is Dorna? There she is. And there's a big door. Like I said, I'm kind of using them to take the hits. Okay, and we will be back for those guys in just a second. I'm going to clear out the rest of these tunnels. Now, this is the way into the Knoll leadership. And yay, another fish. Stupid cat people and their fish. Come bears. We have hunting to do. Yeah! I thought I put my crossbow. Yep. And as you can see, the bear killed that gnome and I didn't get the 30 XP. But at this point, 30 XP is gonna be not that big a deal. Okay, there is a second bear. Did one of the bears die? They just wander off. No. Two bears is fine. is entrance into more prisoner cells. So let me get my bears ready. And there is a creature called the Warden. I'm going to try and put him to sleep. There we go. 
I even need the bear this time. But he was a big old jerk, and there's a possibility that he had some useful things. Probably some character levels. And he has an empty cell. And he has... A skeleton in a cell. Bears in here. And he has an empty cell. And finally, he has a whole bunch of cobalts. I should punch them. Um, you're not going to hunt us, is you? We're just little cobalts. We just want to be. To flee nasty dogs. Alright, go on. Get out of here, all of you. You're as merciful human person here is. Now, feel be very grateful. All of you, follows me. We run to freedom. Run, run! Alright, you can try and convince them to help you fight the gnolls. I guess the bears are going to. I have to lighten this load. The gnolls. Or gnolls, kobolds. But, eh, don't really care. They're kobolds. Aha! There's a big stash of things. Anyways, you can get the kobolds to help you fight the gnolls, but I don't... Hopefully I won't have to fight the gnolls. Ah. Oh, and I was under a bear strength potion. That's why I could carry a lot more than I was able to. Go ahead and re-up on those. didn't quite get the same strength boost as I did last time, so let's get underweight. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go somewhere and sell off some of this junk. But while I still have them, these bears shall follow me. Or they won't. Bears. Will you come on, please? Thank you. Door not follow. Indeed. Because you were in the way, the bears were coming. Okay, there we go. Okay, Dorna keeps stopping whenever I use the beast caller's horn, and that's kind of weird. Still, don't want that. Bear stop. Ah, wanted that easy XP. Hey, they're gonna go ahead and run off and just kill something else for me. Ah, now they see us. And that's one bear down. Dorna's got to herself into a big old fight. I'm not sure I can handle it. Grab 
Okay, we're doing okay. If I could hit more, that would be wonderful. Oh, potion speed. I'm gonna use that. That'll give me haste. It'll give me some bonuses. Both the armor class to get plus to get to attack more. Okay, I need to heal. Since I don't have any potions. That did nothing. That again. Alright, that did nothing. Okay, I'm no longer hasted, but this might be a fight. I nope. With one hit, I have decided to go ahead and pace myself again. doing a little bit better. Over here, punch these archers. This room over here. Oh, oh, more one more. This was probably the archer I put. Ah. Okay, and down he goes. So now we're gonna loot everything in this room. I'm then going to go rescue the prisoners in this room. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and call that the video for today. Okay, there we go. I should have probably just opened the door when I was in there instead of having to go all the way back around. But, uh, so yeah, that was the entire, almost the entirety of the first floor of the Knoll's Caves. Uh, next time we will talk with the Knoll Chieftain. He'll tell us to knock it off, quit killing his Knolls, and to, uh, not you know, rescue the slaves. So we're going to do that before he tells us not to. Now, this door is always locked, and you can't pick it. Can't do that. But this lever releases it, and then we open this door, and we talk to this one. Hail and well met. You, you're human. Thank the gods. Please, my lord, please let us out of this place. The gnolls will be the death of us for sure. Uh, you're free to go. The way is clear. We are? Y you're sure? Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Uh, before we go, we must know. Is the village of Hilltop safe? It's the only settlement near this forest, and we can't return to Limburg now. That's a good idea. Go to Hilltop. You'll be safe there. That is such a relief. Thank the gods. Tell me, my lord. Might we know the name of our savior? Uh, I don't want good points, so my name is Kigro. Thank you, Kigro. May the gods watch over you always. If you give them 100 gold, that will get you good points. But since I'm trying to become a pale master, I have to remain at least neutral. So, and then slaves all just kind of wander around until their pathfinding gets them out of the room and they go away. 
All right, so that was pretty eventful, uh, both in-game and out-of-game for me. Having to play this room three times didn't really uh, help my mood any, but here we are. We're finished, we freed some slaves, and we beat up some hyena people, and all they gave me was some fish. So, thank you, as always, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time on Neverwinter Nights, Shadows of Undertime. See you then.